Alright, so next on the list is to remove all the thermal paste that's uh, been on the uh, video card. So, to do this, like I said, um, you can use traditional alcohol if you so choose. I have the label ripped off, but this is rubbing alcohol. Um, in my case, I'm going to be using my thermal uh, compound remover. And um, to, uh, to remove it, um, just apply some of the uh, alcohol to it, or in this case, I have thermal paste remover, so I'm going to just put a few drops on there. And you're going to take, um, you can use a cloth, I use the cloth in the end, but in the beginning I usually use um, Q-tips, I just, I find they work better. Um, and Q-tips also are effective for getting in tight spaces, and uh, you're going to use it, rub it around, get the, uh, the real hard thermal paste nice and soft, so that you can remove it, just spread it all around, and it, like, uh, as you can see, it's starting to come loose. So get as much off as you can. Flip it. This is why I'm wearing a glove, by the way. Flip it over. Get as much of the big goop as you can off. Apply a few more drops. Or alcohol drops, either way. And take part of your rag. wipe the rest of the thermal compound off you want to get it to uh, look like a you know kind of like a mirror real nice and smooth it should have no residue left over on your uh, GPU before uh, you put on the new compound. So try and get everything off. Alright, it's real nice and clean as you can see it's shiny, um, there's no residue left so now I'm going to move this over here and it's time to get it off of your GPU chip, the, the actual chip itself. So for this um, you don't want to get uh, too much alcohol anywhere or any other kind of liquid so um, I'm just going to put one drop. And I'm going to immediately start spreading it around. This stuff on the GPU should be the hardest to get off because of uh, it just being real hot and the thermal paste will dehydrate so it will stick pretty nastily. Just keep rubbing it, it's slowly coming off. Try and get the stuff off the side of the GPU too.
I'm actually going to use a little bit of alcohol here too. So. Alcohol is real nice for getting this stuff off. So, um, I'm not sure about your guys' see GPUs, but the GPU itself, um, to know that it's clean, you should be able to basically see yourself in the GPU. So just keep running the compound off until it's all off. So... Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. You're, you're obviously not going to be able to get it all off the outside of the chip. The outside of the chip doesn't really ever... It doesn't matter as much as the uh, getting it off the top of the chip. That's where most of the heat comes from. So, uh, usually um, this would be enough, but in my case I have a uh, thermal paste applier preparer, which pretty much polishes everything off. So I'm going to quickly rub this down on that. And I'm going to rub it down on the other one. It's good enough. So, now we're going to put the new thermal paste on. Make sure that your uh, everything's clear of dust and debris. Okay, so now that you uh, have nice, clean, smooth surfaces, um, you're going to now apply your thermal paste. So you're going to open your cap and your thermal paste. And you're going to apply like a key drop, maybe smaller sized drop on your GPU. And using uh, like a sandwich bag or something, I use a glove. Um, you're going to spread it around as evenly and as smoothly as you can on your GPU. You don't want a thick layer, you want a thin layer. So if your thermal paste is uh, thick, uh, scrape some off and just spread it around. So, you're just going to spread it around. Alright, so now that it's on, you can take your glove off, and now you're going to reassemble your cart. So, you're going to plug, align your exterior casing again, plug your fan back in, make sure it's in there securely. And you're going to not drop your sink, you're going to flip it back over. And you're going to slide in this end first and gently put it down on top of it. Then hold your heat, hold the uh, frame in place and flip your GPU over to the other side. Make sure to hold it. Lay it down. Line up the holes on the back where the screw should go. Grab your screwdriver, wrong one, grab your screwdriver and screw in all the screws just, just like you took them out. Apply a little pressure to get it into the hole because remember that these things have springs on them. Don't screw them down all the way, just get them in there.
Now that they're all in, you can tighten them down. And there you go. You have a re-thermal pasted and fully cleaned video card, and it will run much nicer than what it was running at. Uh, Orvis 8, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Um, I will be putting up a video about that hybrid SLI, or hi sorry, hybrid PhysX. Um, I'll be putting up a video of how that works and uh, what I think of it. And um, remember to rate and subscribe. Uh, you sub uh, you uh, rate it thumbs up so I can get my videos out there and viewed leave me a comment so I know uh, how you like the video what you didn't like what you think I should change next time and everything else like that